now with a comfortable seven-point lead with 20.1 seconds remaining in the second overtime. I say comfortable, but Reggie Miller has worked some miracles before, of course, against the Knicks, had that eight points and 8.9 seconds in the 95 playoffs. But it would be some kind of miracle finish if he could pull this one out. Well, in that game that you just spoke about, we lost concentration, quick three, couldn't get the ball in, another quick three, and then the untold story is, we got fouled because Sam Mitchell thought they were still down and we missed two free throws. Then we fouled Miller and he made the free throws. Nets, by the way, have a foul to give. And they still have one timeout left. Kevin Ollie drives. Williams all over him, taking a lot of time. He stepped out of bounds. And that may do it. Seven-point lead, 15.2 remaining. And the Indiana Pacers attempt with the huge upset as Mercer fouls may come to an end. Lucius Harris will shoot two, although I don't know if he can say huge upset in any Eastern Conference playoff series this year. Mercer, his fifth foul. 14.1 remaining. And Kitt's still bothered by the cramp. What a performance he's put on in the fourth quarter in overtimes. The Nets hold on. They'll face the Charlotte Hornets starting game one here Sunday. And Jason Kidd's coming out of the game. They you see the season series. How about Charlotte winning that series without Jamal Master and their leading scorer? Tremendous job by Charlotte. And having to start that series with Jamal McGlure suspended. Final seconds, a nine-point lead. Reggie Miller's going to put up another three. Can't connect. Johnson a rebound. And the New Jersey Nets dream season will continue. As they call a foul, they'll advance to the second round for only the second time in the team's NBA history and the first time in 18 years. Well, let's go back to the beginning of the game. Like Timmy Walsh, the trainer said from New Jersey, we got this one tonight. He knew it all along. Big. Big. Indiana Pacers played a great series. They took them to the limit and nearly pulled off a second upset. 3.4 seconds remaining. Jason Kidd, the leader down the stretch. The big plays at crunch time. 31 points, 7 assists, and 8 rebounds. They needed double overtime to do it, but the number one seed advances to the second round. Some nice displays of sportsmanship as this hard-fought series comes to an end. That first playoff series, they defeated defending champion 76ers in the first round, lost in the second round to Milwaukee. This time, these current Nets will play the Charlotte Hornets in the second round. Jason Kidd, a spectacular performance, and he's with Gene Linum. Yes, he is. He's uh, getting a lot of congratulations from a lot of people, including Reggie Miller. Jason, I know you're exhausted. The hopes of an entire franchise rested on your shoulders in a double overtime elimination game. I don't know, just what went through your mind time and again as this one seemed like it might slip away. Well, Reggie, uh, Reggie, you know, anytime Reggie uh, is involved, he's always gonna make the big shot. And uh, I was like, man, I hope we're not like the Knicks, because he always comes back to bite them. But, uh, you know, it was a great game on both teams. Nobody gave up, we just fought, and uh, we got lucky and won tonight. I know yesterday that you had talked to your teammates and challenged yourself as well to come out with a different kind of intensity than game four. How proud to see the Keith Van Horns, oh. the Kenyans, and all of them rise to that they again. They would have been, they would have wanted to carry us today. Kenyan and, uh, and then Keith came out huge tonight and showed the world that he can play at a high level. And uh, we're going to need him throughout the series to uh, help us advance. And, you know, we got a tough opponent coming in in Charlotte. They're playing extremely well. So uh, we got to get ready for them. I want to ask you where the will to win comes from. You look like you were struggling physically. Are you all right, or is it just you were leaving it all out on the court? 
Well, chasing Reggie is no fun, and I can see why Kerry gets tired, but, you know, my body started to cramp up at the end. But it was do or die. I can rest, you know, rest of the summer. But uh, I just didn't want my teammates and, uh, and us to give up. You know, this was a great opportunity, and uh, we got lucky, and we move on now. Last thing, and we talked about this this morning, that the reason you were brought here was to elevate this franchise to places they haven't been in a long time. Satisfying for yourself at this moment? Well, it is, because, uh, you know, a lot of critics talked about uh, you know, this team has had question marks from day one, and, uh, you know, everybody talks about that, you know, Jason's not going to get them past the first round. He, he takes an early exit. Uh, so we've always had something to prove, and this is just another stepping stone for us to grow as a team and get better. Jason, it was a great game to watch, particularly to watch you. <laughs> oh, TJ, take care of your dad for us. He has to get in bed. It's <laughs> past his bedtime. Thanks, Thanks Jason. <laughs> Mike? All right, D, the number one seed survives. They hold off the Pacers three games to two, needing... A double overtime victory in the deciding game five. So for Mike Fratello, Jeff Van Gundy, D Lineman, this is Mike Breen saying so long from Jersey. Let's go to Atlanta now and join Ernie Johnson.